I done some time hauling a pick in a mine. Weren't no beatings or mistreatings as long as the ore came out fine. This place is like a sensory enema. Whiteron has some of the best air in Skyrim. There is a subtle dog breath aftertaste though. Hello, Eric. My name is Inigo. Hey there. So, you want to be an adventurer? Maybe I can teach you a thing or two. Yes, I'm glad you're with us. You remind me a bit of myself when I'm stalking a deer. I will take that as a compliment. Uh, let us get on with it, eh? Good. I'm ready for anything. That remains to be seen, but I do admire your enthusiasm. Fight bravely, my friend! Let us put an end to this winged demon together! Dragon, you will be just as impressive dead. I am going to need a bigger bow! I was wondering, what do you think of Skyrim's spiders? I find them very satisfying. They are enjoyable, dangerous, and amusing. We all have our hobbies, my friend. What is wrong with a little spider slaying? Do you not enjoy the noises they make when you hit them? I understand. Send any spiders that you do not want to deal with my way. I will take care of them. With pleasure. Anyway, I just wanted to make it clear that I am always ready for some spider smashing. What's your obsession with spiders all about? None of your business. Fine, have it your way. We should look for game while we're out here. Fantastic. Perhaps we could track some spiders. Perhaps you could consider being a bit less weird. Spiders make you uneasy. I understand, they are not for everyone. All the more for me. I'm thinking I am sorry I shot you in the head. It is a good thing you have a hard skull. <laughs> My fleas bite harder than that. It is funny the things you miss here as a child. For 12 years I thought that princesses had hairy godmothers. <laughs> it made sense to me. I like it here. I also went through most of my early life wondering what a crof was. People would say things like, uh, the cave is nearby, maybe two miles as the crow flies. Maybe you'll give me I assumed a crow was some sort of creature known for lying about distance. <laughs> Language can be confusing sometimes. It happens to the best of us. Sometimes I worry that there are other phrases I still misunderstand. Ah well, no harm, no owl. Two dragons walk into an inn. One says to the other, It is hot in here. The other says, Shut your mouth. Up yours! The dragonborn. <laughs> When you take a dragon soul, it makes my ears pop and my bowels loosen. When I see Miol, all the blood leaves my head, if you know what I mean. She is impressive. My name is Inigo. It is? Well, that's different. It is not common in these parts, I grant you. To be honest, though, I have not met that many people called Miol, either. Where does that come from? I don't know, really. Well, it is a very beautiful name. It suits you. Why, thank you. You're very kind. I pray my friend is happy and well, until the end of their days. Who made the gods, I wonder? No one ever told me a satisfactory answer. I'm 
wondering what all these marks on the rocks mean. Maybe they're telling us we are welcome to come in and eat some mammoth. I thought the Thalmor were just a bunch of intolerant snappy dressers. I wonder why they are involved in this dragon business. I am a little gassy today, but other than that, all is well. How is everything with you? I'm thinking of the time I fell off a barstool while chasing my tail. <sighs> Embarrassing. My father always said alcohol is not the answer, but it does make you forget the question. It was quite a climb getting here. Maybe we should just slide back down. Are you a little low or drowning in a pool of hopelessness? You only feel despair? Everything else is numb? A nasty place to be. I do not know about you, but for me that feeling is often made worse by a sense of emotional isolation. You are not alone, my friend. I wish I could take your pain away. I know I cannot, but talking about it often helps a little. I've been there and I made it through to the other side. So will you. More than ever, I now believe that despite all the pain and suffering, it is a wondrous thing that we exist. There is still meaning and joy in the world. You may find it, you may not, but for as long as you are here, there is hope and endless possibilities. That is very unlikely. On the other hand, it is possible that all you will ever feel in this life, good and bad, is but a brief splash in an infinite ocean of nothing. That makes our time here a gift too precious to waste in my opinion. It may sound strange, but I have come to see beauty in almost everything. All the love, all the suffering, all the smiles, all the hate. I am in awe of existence itself, no matter how much it hurts. I do not want to miss a moment. I'll dig till the day is done. Dig, dig, dig. Digging is fun. My arms may be tired, but I won't get fired. I'll dig till the day is done. Yeah.